building is some model buildings made from simple materials such as surgical rubber and wood dowels to show how buildings react to shaking experienced during earthquakes and how different construction styles will either help a building or hinder a building during an earthquake. So we start with such materials as wooden square wooden dowels, surgical rubber tubing, Gorilla Glue, snap buttons, which we can snap on and off, um, exacto knife for cutting, straight edges for drawing lines, a drill and a saw, which are not shown here. We start with a wooden dowel. We measure off. We measure off with a ruler a set distance, four inches, to show how long the dowel should be. We cut it, come up with columns and beams like this. We have surgical rubber which we cut to set lengths and it angles using an X-Acto knife. We cut, two, we cut several pieces at a, dis at a length of 5 eighths inches. We, set, we cut many pieces at 1 inch lengths, which we then cut at 45 degree angles using an X-Acto knife to form the corners. We glue these together using the Gorilla Glue to make these three-way joints, which will then act as the corners of the building. We also take some wooden dowel and we measure out using we measure out a distance of 1 by 16 inches, and using a 45 degree angle, we can draw lines on the dowel, which will then, when cut, will form trapezoids, 45 degree angles, which can then be inserted as braces in the sides of the building as seen here. Onto the, um, using these trapezoid pieces, we drill a small hole into the end using a drill so that uh, the buttons can set into the dowels and hold be strong. We glue these buttons into these holes to form pieces like this. Um, using, the, uh, using all these elements, we glue them all together. We form a rudimentary building as seen here. We then, we, so now we have an example with no supports in it, no, just a simple frame building. We then take the buttons and add the base elements. We glue them onto the supports, of the, onto the supports columns and beams of the building at a distance set by the length of these pieces where we can then add these triangular, these trapezoidal elements in to form structural support for the buildings. Okay. We can snap these in rather quickly. Just form supports for the building. These supports um, act as either a reinforced concrete column beam connection or a steel I-beam with a weld would act. They reinforce the corners, which are most susceptible to damage during the earthquake. And since the corners are also what holds the building up, if they are damaged during an earthquake, the building is more likely to collapse. By adding these trapezoidal element, these trapezoids, we form triangular elements in the building, as you can see it's triangular shaped. And these form in, this is, these also, these distribute load throughout the building and strengthen it. As we can see, when the building has been strengthened, when, attempt, when you attempt to shake it, there is really no shaking at all. If you pop all these, these supports back out quickly and easily, See, you can see that the building is now very weak. This is very similar to buildings that are used um, with tuck under parking or stores in the bottom floors. Uh, this is this was buildings were built like this all throughout the United States and are still built like this in the in third world countries. So even though the upper floor is stiff and strong, the lower floor is no longer strong at all. If we take the building with no supports in it. We can see that it's, it's susceptible to all sorts of shaking, shearing, front and back. It can be crushed, it can be molded very easily, it can be squeezed in all ways. It can be shaken, it can be, ro it can be disformed rotationally. It's susceptible to all sorts of damage. Whereas, if you have the supports in the building,
we see when we put the supports back into the building. The building is not only stable when it comes to shaking, but it is also stable when it comes to structural loading and, and deforming in other forms as well. So, shaking back together. You can see, compared to the other building, there really is no comparison. You can also see that the, 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 this building is susceptible to shaking, is susceptible to certain styles of shaking. If you shake it quickly, with, with low amplitudes, there really is no, there really isn't that much uh, deformation. But when you do large amplitude shakes at a certain frequency, then the building is most susceptible to shaking. 